I could already deal with an F one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of uh, Cisco and the Mike. I'm Cisco. This is Mike. And, and Mike, you want to introduce our next guest? Yeah, our next guest. He's a uh, fellow comedian. Well, not fellow. I'm not a fucking comedian. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> right, you know, you know, hey, hey, shit. Um, hey, yeah, we go back. Hey, hey, look. He thinks he's, he's from Amani, so he's a comedian. No, I grew up in Amani, but uh, anyways, he's a comedian. He's an actor. Uh, he has a bunch of stuff coming out uh, in the next, in the, within the next year, right? Yes. Um, Bruce Jingles in the house. Hello. So say what's up to Bruce Jingles, everybody. Hey, what up, niggas? <laughs> How you doing? You know. I'm doing the, uh, <laughs> I'm doing my big impersonation for you niggas. So we talk about fat bitches. <laughs> yeah, be prepared to be prepared to laugh, right? This is a fucking funny show, so <laughs> thanks for a good one. So right. hey, thank you for thank coming you for on board, coming, man. Thank, thank you. you for agreeing to come. We know you've been busy, and you had a special. We actually did a stand up yesterday, right? I did. Uh, I was in uh, Palm Springs, oh, and shit. I did. Uh, <laughs> they have like little uh, comedy rooms there. Cool. So I went to I went to the different ones. So I still, oh, you were hopping around. Yeah. Cool, cool. Because cool. yeah, I'm getting back in. You know what I mean. To you got to find a rhythm. Yeah. I, is there a thing like rhythm? Jump, getting yeah. back into well, rhythm. Because it's music. Huh. Writing comedy is music. It's it, it's a beat. You it's, know. Like, you remember boom, shit, boom, right? Boom. Yeah. It, boom, 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 boom. It's it's rhythm. It's it's. Uh, do you, do you do different sets all the time? Yeah. So. See, if I went to see you t last night and I go see you tonight, it's different. Different. Too. It's a different set. Cool. Uh, it's different. It's the same, roughly the same material, but it's done differently. Cool, cool. So that way, you know, that even that slightest thing satisfies audiences because people are stupid. It's true. I don't. I don't. I want to say stupid, but. They're naive. I'll say it. People are stupid. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. He said. He said it, folks. Yeah. Uh, Thank you for canceling us. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? What happened to your show? <laughs> <laughs> it's because he said. You said the fat bitch joke. That's why. <laughs> the fat bitches. Well, what's all the fat? What is burgers at, nigga? <laughs> and I'm black. I can say it. <laughs> there you go. I didn't say it. Because so, you know you're gonna have one of what some listeners. <gasps> <laughs> yeah, that's I true. I got a question. Why are Mexicans saying it now? Why are we? Why are we saying it? Yeah. I don't know which which younger, word. Younger. That's true. Actually, I I'm not gonna lie to you. I've said I think that's disrespectful. Is that calling me a beaner? Yeah. I'd be like, what the fuck? Mm. Now, have I called another Mexican a beaner? Yeah. But yeah, I called, I called other black people the N word and, and, exactly. and use the R the hard R. Exactly. Yeah, so it's, it's like, like uh, I don't know. I don't know why the younger is it the music. Uh, is it the music? You got I, white rappers I and thinking their hood. There's no unity because there's no unity. That's true. Um, you know. Yeah. So why do you? Why do you think you can do that? I don't think you can. I yeah. think only if you grew up in the hood or you grew up around but, but people but like that and even, accept it. Yeah. I mean, even certain words. Yeah. Yeah. Because like yeah, yeah, you like know, Joe they're saying, yeah, they're saying it. Uh. Like everyone knows that their grandmother is uh, with a with a black dude, you know oh, what I'm saying? Yeah, no, no, no. So, so the only people that know the only t only time you should I can excuse someone saying it is if I know them. You know what I mean? And you gotta so, be so I know where they're coming from with it. Yeah. Uh, other than that. What about when you're rapping to a song like a Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg song? Like, you don't say, you don't say, we're, 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 we're crazy, we're like, oh shit. You gotta bleep that shit out. <laughs> <laughs> I better hear her. <laughs> play the radio version and shit. <laughs> you play, exactly. But radio edit. There you go. Radio. My jigger. My jigger. Oh, that's right, my jigger. The radio version, my jigger. Oh, what's up, jigger? I'm gonna be doing fucking Puffy. You're gonna be doing Puffy and Biggie. I'm gonna be doing Biggie all day, dude. Bruce, you grew up in Omani, right? Yeah. And Oman is predominantly Mexican, yeah. so you speak Spanish, right? Yeah, poquito. I know you speak Spanish. He, he knows bro, the main no. words. I know. No, I know what you need to know. Cerveza, mota, <laughs> <laughs> shit yeah. like that. Yeah. No, how no. was how was it like growing up a bunch, a bunch of a, a bunch of beaners, a bunch of Mexicans? Like it was me. different, different, and I, and I appreciated it cool. because I grew up uh, off of Thirty Third and Central in that, in South LA. Okay, but my parents made me go to school in the Valley. Okay, and I, well, actually, I 
they, they didn't make me. I, was, I told them, get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, you know, let me go. And I got offered to go to uh, Parkman Junior High. Okay. And Taft. Uh, Some good schools? I, that's, yeah, and I went to school with Ice Cube. Oh, oh shit. shit. He was o O'Shea at the time. O'Shea. And he was, uh, he was the teacher's assistant in my art class. He was the teacher's assistant? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh shit! You heard it here first. Yeah, you yeah, heard it here first. Yeah, he was a TA, and he would write his rhymes, like you know, when he's doing like paperwork and shit. You, you know, he, he's writing his rhymes, and I wanted to be a comic book artist, and I was pretty good. I, I'm okay, but I'm not like I'm not like uh, Alex Ross or anything like that. Uh, so he would see my art, and he liked my art, and I looked over and I see. See his stuff, and I go. What is that? You write poetry? And no, it's fine. You know, <laughs> no, nah, he's, nah. he's a sensitive. <laughs> no, 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 y'all go. You don't seem sensitive. <laughs> you're not. You're not. <laughs> and he's on. Like, no, that's my rap. I was like, oh, okay. Oh, shit. Like a hip hop, hippity hip. hip. Yeah. yeah, and he's like, yeah. Like, okay, good luck with that. <laughs> and who who did thunk it? <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Have you ran into him before, after, like after all that? And yeah. Oh, you have. You yeah. reminded him. Of shit? I remember you writing your poetry. And shit. I, 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 hey man, I, I remember you were writing a sonnet. <laughs> <laughs> and there's gonna people are gonna watch this podcast seeing the fucking earpiece because <laughs> it just hopped out of my ear. It's like oh, this ear gets too much, too much wax. It's there just, you go. Uh, <laughs> the fucking uh, so going to that. Uh, junior high in high school, you know, you're hanging out with the uh, rich white kids whose parents were in entertainment. Dope. So, like, my junior high uh, culture club played the uh, eighth grade dance. Damn, you guys had a culture club? <laughs> you know, no, we had cult, the, the band culture club. Okay. Like, uh, Boy George and, yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, shit. That's crazy. At the time, there was a show that came on Channel 5, the syndicated show. It's called Putting, <clears throat> Putting on the Hits. And it was, it was basically young people uh, doing karaoke to modern modern music, which at the time was New Wave and reggae and all that shit, you know, like the specials and all yeah. that stuff. And uh, so that, that's how his, uh, a student's father was the producer on the show, and they got – them to play the eighth grade dance so it's so it's crazy like my grandmother she was a maid and she worked for the producers of the dukes of hazard mm. but we couldn't watch the dukes of hazard in the house you know what i'm saying yeah because yeah. my grandfather was like we're yeah, we'll putting that shit on yeah, this is, <laughs> we'll this see the fuck that monkeys you know, <laughs> jumping cars and shit. Jumping that's, all, that's some monkey shit man keep your car together right drive on <laughs> <laughs> and uh so you had that, I, that I was always interest, interested in entertainment. Cool. I was always interested in the television. I was always very interested in comic books and very interested in comedy. So my mom was a huge Richard Pryor fan, so she had all every album. And so I remember being five, putting the, putting the record on, just listening to it, just all the way, just listening to all five albums. In, in in succession, just just mesmerized by him. So you knew right from the start, you yeah. this is what you wanted to do. Yeah, and I uh, and I, you know, I, I studied like you know, what I mean, study what what the information provided. I studied like uh, different genres in comedy, like uh, you know the different uh, like country comedy, like hee haw and shit like that. Yeah. to urban comedy like good times and all the, and and and, and see the differences so, uh you, you know what i mean the stars of the time yeah just studying them and how their delivery was and which is the most important part right the delivery mm -hmm. the build up and then the bam and I, just smack them yeah it was it was it was just a natural thing let me yeah. let me ask a question and through comedy you obviously express yourself right and well, how you grew up and basically not just how you grew up, but what's on your mind, right? Because yeah. I think comedians are able to sp or should be able to speak about what's going on in life no matter what and be able to say something and make it funny 
or just to laugh about it because someone uh, at, i'm sorry to interrupt no no you're good you're good someone uh, a friend of mine told me uh, last night he goes uh you know comedians are modern day philosophers yeah and like, yeah that's true you're talking about the making fun of the climate the situations that are currently at hand and mm -hmm. we need that shit, to mm -hmm. be honest with you but now they're trying to regulate exactly that mm -hmm. that's the part you can't say that yeah and i think that works to a certain extent uh, you know, because I mean, there's, you know, there. I know there are white successful white white comedians that tell what would be racist jokes. Yeah. Now, you know, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like that's all you got, really. Because I I talk about race, but I talk about it being black yeah. from that uh, that perspective. Because it's not it's not the usual uh, black comic. Mexicans, why are y'all in the car at the same time and shit? And <laughs> all that, you know, all that, you know, all that stereotypical shit. It's, it's like this is what I know. Why is it that way? And again, it just questions about it. Like, uh, like uh, my the word mayate, <laughs> right? Yep. I, I know both definitions. Yeah. You know, I know I know one's a bug, and one's <laughs> what you what uh, they call black people. Yeah. Uh, you know, so I, that bit grew from that so you should always talk about your experience you know what you know yeah and that's kind of you picked that up in Armani I'm assuming yeah yeah Cause being around what, the fuck is my <laughs> what, 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 did, what did you think the first time I thought it, I really thought it was food really yeah, yeah I mean <laughs> that's why the joke is you know all the yeah, kinds yeah, that we yeah, have like, hey, you, you go to King Taco hey, you thought that's my <laughs> there, so <laughs> Right. He's looking at you like he, he sprinkled <laughs> cheese on me, and then the guy behind him said, "Where's the other one?" <laughs> it's uh, yeah, it's, it's still it's, uh, the different uh, the different slur words like chinate or chinate or, yeah. or, or but believe it or not, chinate is more uh, more g a gay slur. No, uh, no, 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 it's m more of a gang memberish way yeah. of saying yeah. black person. Yeah. Yeah, so, so not a lot of people know exactly. I didn't even know that. Exactly. So unless you know what's up with or that. Tinto or Tinto, the, yeah. That's a that's like a J or Terron. Terron, yeah. Yanta. Yanta. You know, tires. Yanta <laughs> labio. <laughs> <laughs> Big tire lips. <laughs> I so, my friend Jose uh <laughs> he, he, we would hang out at his house after school <laughs> and the dad was a mechanic and he how you doing? Hey, good to see you. Okay, meet you next time. But it was cool, and uh, <laughs> and, and I, I remember yeah, there, were, there was some chick that came on who wasn't black, and she had huge fucking lips, and I had picked up, uh, you know, little Spanish words here and there, and, uh, and I. Looked at him. We were watching. We were all watching TV, and I looked at him and said, "Yanta labios," and he just <laughs> spit out his drink. <laughs> so, I mean, if you grow up in it, you learn how to speak it. Yeah, you know, it's you, you have to learn it. You, you know, that's how you get by. That's true. And then, you know, I got by that I was funny. What uh, yeah. what what memories of you growing up? that you currently use in all your bits do you or are you fond of the most like what like you know sometimes the hardest shit in our life is the shit that we're able to talk about now my mom that's your mom yeah was she a strict she's she's my closing my okay. closing joke cool so i didn't i was gonna just end it you know what i mean and i and i decided i that i did it yeah but I added something and twisted something in the joke to where now the, the ending is more powerful than the joke. Gotcha. And I, said, I can't keep it because then, you know, then she truly is gone. Yeah, that's a memory. That's how you keep them alive and keep them yeah. in their spirit. Yeah, yeah. completely so agree. I, so I, I avoided doing that bit for a while. And uh, because, uh, you know, th this last year and a half, it's been uh, very trying, uh, you know, not just, uh, you know, shut down and everything with my mother passing, 
uh, then finally me getting COVID. My mother didn't pass from COVID, by the way. Uh, and, and I got COVID. So two weeks after she passed. So you're in, in isolated in the back in in the uh, hospital for, uh, for twelve days, and you know, yeah. you know, Mike, you uh, it your mind. It's just like the song says, mind playing trick. My mind playing, playing tricks, tricks on me. On me. <laughs> yep. Like, but I think. I get. I got clarity because I knew what I had to do. I just told him, "Look, look, God, make it out of here. I'm gonna do this." Yeah. You know, because I was getting, it was good. I was getting close to them putting uh, putting me on the ventilator. Oh shit. Yeah. So that's you know that's like see you bye bye. <laughs> yeah. And mm -hmm. uh, and my mother came to visit me. In oh, the hospital, sure. and it was spirit form. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. <clears throat> and I don't know if people uh, believe it or not. I really don't give a fuck. But uh, she did, and I just remember she was, "What are you doing here?" And I go, "Sleeping." <laughs> she went, "Don't be smart." And then she <laughs> went, and it was, the, and then it was closure. That was the closure because we talked. That was her telling you, yeah. like, hey, it's okay. Yeah. And then that gave me the strength to. That's cool. Get out of it. So, it, you know, you, um, have you ever lost a, uh, a parent? Yeah, I lost my, I, my I dad not. in 2020, actually. Uh, before gotcha. COVID, actually, a week before they shut down. Or how? Oh, from COVID? Um, he had COVID a, related? He went septic. No, it was not COVID related. He, had, he already had health issues. Oh, okay. But he went septic so and um, pneumonia. Pneumonia, you know. So, so. The, the littlest thing, the littlest yeah. thing. Yeah, so he was in the hospital for some time, and, man, it was hard, like you said. And, you know, sometimes you just need that. Same thing happened to me. I got closure after, but. I lost my um, father in about 20 years ago. Then I lost my stepfather 15 years ago. So it was just me and my mom. Uh, my grandparents, her parents, died a day apart. <laughs> Uh, ninety three. Yeah, ninety three. So, and I and, and I found them. <clears throat> I found my grandfather and I found my mother. So you know th th that's. I think that's fitting. Yeah. You know. You know what I mean? Because it could have been way worse. Are you an, an old child? Yeah. I, yeah. <coughs> I, was her, I was her only child. My father had. Uh, has uh, I have three. I uh, have two brothers and a sister. Okay. Who I'm close to. Uh, but I was my mother's only child. Mm. That's why I'm uh, calling my uh, special that I'm going to be hopefully fil hopefully filming soon. Uh, uh, Bruce Jingles, his mother's son. <laughs> so nice. So I can nice. just do that set that hour, record it, be done. Yeah. And then just move on. Kind of dedicated to her, and yeah. you can move on to. Yeah. That's and nice. That's dope. That's a, you started working on the the bits already. Yeah. What? I'm, how how long does that usually take though to like come up it with? It takes like, as long as the as the person doing it needs to. You know. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah. I it's stuff I've had for years, and it's just a culmination of it. We're putting it together to where it works. Yeah, you know what I mean. So, so it's just smooth. And that's that's what I find dope about comedy. It's that <coughs> no matter how yeah, fucked up your life has been or experiences have been, you can look back, make fun of them, and appreciate them at the same time. You have to, and because I think that's dope. And then one of my mother's problems is she would, uh, would suffer from a uh, depression, or or a self imposed depression, because when you don't get rid of stink of things. You yeah. hang on to all these things. You hang on to the bad vibes too. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You yeah. know what I mean. And uh, I wasn't gonna do that. Uh, so you know, that, to where I had to re restructure the place to make it my own. To you know what I mean. To uh, to get to get past it. Yeah. You know, and that's that's the hardest. Part. Yeah, you know what I mean, because you then you feel like 
like when you like I don't know if you guys throw you through your uh, got rid of your dad stuff. But it was hard, it, man. That's what it comes down to. It was hard, but yeah, is, we did. You know, that it all comes down to this moment that you're gonna have to throw this shit away. Yeah. And then and then that then that then their life is means nothing. You know what I mean? And that's what you think to yourself. Because life goes on and people who are checking on you every day are, are dwindling because they're gonna have shit in their lives. Yeah. So that's when it that's when it fucks with you. That's when it kicks in, yeah, because you you have this person that you relied on and yeah. supported you, and you kind of could just go to them and talk to them. And the argue, I miss the arguing. <laughs> really? Because we come up with some doozies, and uh, it it's it's a lot, like little it's uh little things, like a TV show, uh, a song. And then you can go, for, and then you're on that emotional co- roller coaster, roller coaster. Ride. And so one day you're like, "Hey, fuck, damn, I'm doing my special." Then next day, oh. <laughs> and you have to get past it. You know what I mean? And not look like a look like a bitch. Yeah, doing it. You know, there's mourning, and then there's just uh, that's pathetic. Moping and just yeah. yeah, yeah, dragging it on. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, absolutely right. And uh, that, that that's my. I mean. No, I completely agree with you. I feel the same way. Um, there's a time for mourning, and after that, I think even that person, your mother and my father, would want us to, you know, continue our lives. They don't want to see us moping around. And mm-hmm. like you said, she visited you in the hospital. And she wouldn't want me to be like she was. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 And uh, I go, I wasn't going to do that. Well, and, and this was a comedy. Uh, <laughs> A podcast, but it just went into, into dramatic. <laughs> I know, it just went into <laughs> a special two part dramatic. <laughs> it's like any any movie, right? We got to get to the drama part and then kind of it's use it. Comedy, up. bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, 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 nah, but we appreciate you sharing that. You know what I'm saying? Thank that you. It, it takes a lot. I've never personally experienced anybody it, close, but I could only if you, imagine if my mom or if you talk dad. about it. it it lessens the pressure. It gets easier. Yeah, it gets easier the more you talk about it and kind of just express it. Yeah, and I know I know because Cisco and me have known each other for over 25 years. Yeah, so you know the dad 25 yeah. years. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I told him. It's part of your life. I've never, the first time I ever saw a person in the coffin mm-hmm. and I actually went to a viewing, I must have been like six years old or seven years old. Mm-hmm. And ever since, I said I'm never doing it. I never stepped foot on, on a cemetery and when his dad passed away, yeah. I wasn't super close to his dad, but we 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 had a relationship where we would BS with each other. Yeah, I mean I've known that's him part of your years. Years. For like twenty five years of yeah. your life. And you know what I mean? And you have to respect that life. Yeah, yeah, exactly. by celebrating it. Yeah, and going to the service. Yeah, exactly. And and I think I told him I said, hey, um, I felt when I heard he passed, had passed away, my mom was in the hospital. And I went yeah. to go see my mom that day, and I remember I had talked to his dad. He had he had called me, and, and his dad could barely speak. Mm-hmm. And I told him, hey, I'm going to go see you in the hospital. And I went to see my mom. They were in the same hospital. Mm-hmm. And I had spent a little bit more time than I wanted. There was like, a couple hours mm-hmm. with my mom. And I said, man, I'll just, I'll just see Ruben. I'll yeah. see him later. Yo. And that weekend is when he passed away. And I was like, fuck. Like, even though he wasn't my dad, you don't, you don't put I it. I was on. like, "What the fuck?" Like, I feel bad. Like, I, 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 I literally cried. Like, I told him, "Dog, I feel like I didn't say goodbye to him." So, I had never seen a, a, a coffin since I was six years old again. But when I went to his dad's funeral, like, it, it didn't even think twice. Like, the balls came out of me. Mm-hmm. I went up to his coffin and I said goodbye to him. You have to. I had to. I yeah. just because, because you, you know that would fuck with you for the rest of your exactly. fucking life. Yeah. Just. Just yeah. that one moment that you could have just did that, and 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 because that's that, that, that's torturing yourself uh, unnecessarily. Yeah, I I found uh, <clears throat> I had uh, I had I was out of town. I was uh, performing in Arizona. It was the first time I had a week in a year. You know, you know what I mean. Uh, so I was like, oh, cool, okay, all right, getting back to normal. Okay, is it happy? Everything. Uh, get to the airport, coming back, flights, uh, fl- flights an hour late. Uh, fuck, I was all pissed off. So you finally get on the uh, get on the plane, fly here, fly home, come to the house, try to. I was like, why the fuck is the door locked? Yeah, how the fuck? 
I mean, I had to pee. Because, uh, you know, when you get near the house, you got to... <laughs> yeah, kicks that. in the morning shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, so I opened the, trying to pee, trying not to pee on myself, trying to open the door. Where the fuck is she at? And then I was mad, and I opened the door, and I found her on the ground. Oh, shit. On the uh, living room floor. And uh, when they did the autopsy, they said uh, I had missed it by an hour. <clears throat> Damn. And even though you weren't at fault, you still kind of felt guilty for some reason, right? By that hour. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So that plays out. Yeah. Again, it, and it's like Bruce, so you're like Bruce Wayne. Like, how many times has his parents died today? Yeah. You know what I mean? His parents died hundreds of times a day. And that's why you can't take their murder out of a Batman movie. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because how many times do how many times does Batman parents have to die? Yeah. How many times yeah. do they die? Every day. You yeah. know what I mean? Because that plays out. Plays yeah. over and over. And yeah. That's what makes him. Yeah. That's the reason he becomes Batman. Mm. It's too, too much already to keep doing the origin yeah. origin stories and shit. So which one's your which one's the best Spider Man in your opinion? This last one. This last one. Yeah. Tom Holland. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. He's he's you know, he, he's the he, he personifies is, what it dude, is. Dude, he's Peter Parker yeah. and he's Spider Man. Yeah. Okay. Have you seen him in Uncharted? No, I, so I just kept thinking Spider Man. No, <laughs> Spider Man sucks. <laughs> yeah, I know, it, and it's, know, it sucks for him. Yeah, you, 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 but it's good, but it sucks for yeah. him. Yeah, it's like uh, Robert Downey. He's always going to be Tony Stark. Yep. True. Yep. Nobody else could have played Tony Stark. Nobody. I think Tom, that's Tom Cruise. Huh? That, that's why, I like Marvel. I don't know if you you have a Marvel Chris DC Evans. things. Chris Evans, yeah. dude, he was the Human Torch, and he sucked at it. Yeah. Captain America, and he was a better Captain America. Yep, yep. exactly. Because he is Captain America. Yep. yep. You know what I mean? He, those motherfuckers are them. They, the Marvel casting is impeccable. Exactly. That's one thing I said. That's why DC? I don't like DC. Eh. I'm a, I'm 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 huge. D, I'm DC. I'm Batman. Oh, are you Team oh, yeah. DC? Batman's, my Batman's Batman. my, one of my favorites too. Yeah, I'm, he's I'm my Bat favorite. I'm Batman. I'm. Oh, if you have my my list of. Uh, Superheroes is it's Batman, Black Panther, Tide, uh, Wolverine. Wolverine's my favorite. The Hulk, because I relate to the Hulk. And mm. <laughs> uh, for some reason, Reed Richards, Mister okay. Fantastic. Mr. Fantastic. Yeah. So, so yeah, Batman. I mean, mm. obviously he's everybody's because everybody could relate to him. He's human. You know, he's just being smarter than everybody, being tougher than everybody. Yeah, he's, and he doesn't have no powers. And Nightwing. No, Nightwing, oh, Nightwing first Robin. Dope. Yeah, he's pretty dope. Nightwing, Nightwing's cool because he's not Bruce Wayne. Yeah. Did you watch uh, Batman Beyond? Yes. Okay, cool. Yes. I didn't, I didn't like watching the, the animated series. The animated series is good. Yeah. They're, Bruce they're like Wayne, in, in the comic books, Bruce Wayne just died. Oh, really? Yeah. In the Oh, yeah. They didn't have Batman Beyond. Who yeah. killed him? The Bat Computer. Okay, I was, it, I was, it became a sentient being. Sentient being, yeah. Sentient being. So kind of like uh, what's it called from uh, Cerebro? No, yeah. not Cerebro. Yeah, yeah. Cerebro. Cerebro becomes yeah. a, a, a sentient too. Yeah, yeah, but I was talking about Ultron. Oh, Ultron. Well, he was made mostly, but. Well, okay. Oh yeah, yeah. well Hank Pym made him. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. In the comics, it was Hank Pym over here. It was yeah. Robert Downey? Well, Iron Man and. Yeah, that, yeah, I forgot about that. So you're a team DC, even in the movies though. Because uh, the movies, I think... Uh, the Mar Marvel, of course, have has better live-action movies. DC has better animation. True. Very true. Yeah. Uh, uh, but I think well, they're they appealing to the kids, animation. to the no? Disney thing, I think. They, well, because they're owned by... Yeah, it's Disney. Yeah. So you know, you have to. Can't be as dark. Yeah. I think, and, 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 yeah. and they're getting dark. Like, I was surprised. I was really surprised about Logan hmm. being rated R. Oh, no, okay, okay. Fuck. That's balls. Don't even worry. even the Moon Knight series, I think they're gonna say it's like rated R, or, yeah. or something like that. They're gonna start putting. Even though they're gonna put it on Disney Plus. Yeah, they're gonna start putting. How much TV mature? Oh, okay. But oh, I heard shit. like they're bringing on like Daredevil and Punisher and all that stuff to make it rated yeah. R. Yeah, that's why they canceled it on Netflix hmm. to bring it over to the plat to Disney Plus. But it's gonna be the same actor, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. He came out in the movie, man. The Spider Man. Yeah. Which man? He was the lawyer, the last man. No, 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 not the not Daredevil. You're not talking about Ben Affleck. I'm huh? talking about the Punisher. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah it's gonna be the, the guy uh, Ben. Ro Ro what the fuck is his name? John. Uh, John Rotten. Rot. Rot. Rot, Rot yeah. Bethan. Bethan. Bethan something. Bethan. 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 Bethan.
Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, see, Do you watch that shit? I'm not. No. No. I hate zombies. So, so you're a nerd, no. but mostly for comics I, and yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, I hate comics, science fiction. Do you go to the comic cons? Yeah. Oh, those are dope. Oh, <laughs> I always go. Oh. Um, my uh, my uh, girlfriend uh, was uh, St- uh, Stanley. Uh, well, my her name's Laura. Wait, name's he Laura said his Roper. girlfriend was Stanley. Stanley. <laughs> Stanley. <laughs> Stanley. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just really stumped. <laughs> uh, my girlfriend's uh, Stanley's was Stanley Sandler. Oh shit! So, imagine uh, being in the car with her, and then Stan. Is calls. that how you met him, or you had already met him prior? Yeah, I had, I had met him. Damn, he had direct access I, to Stan Lee, bro. Yeah. He asked me when Bruce, are you taking care of Laura? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, the yeah, of course, Sam. Of course, I don't want him to create. I will create a being that will just <laughs> destroy you. He's a fucking and, meander and take, take you <laughs> to every dark realm from the negative zone to. <laughs> Bruce, what 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 would be your fucking comic book name if you had one? I know you thought about that shit. Everybody had th- things of a name. I think Bruce Jingles. Bruce Jingles, that would be. Yes. And what would be your powers? To get people explosive diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> like, that, you know, because I, 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 I don't want, like, uh, fl- I want, I'd want flight, uh, the d- 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 diarrhea thing. Cause How would you, you just, give them diarrhea? No, it's, 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 just, just think about it, bam. Like, no? yeah, but you're going to have competition with all those fucking Mexican like, restaurants okay, around. Imagine, okay, because think about it. Imagine the Hulk attacking you. Ten feet tall. Thousand pounds of gamma radiated class one hundred strength, just rawr, savage Hulk, not no Professor Hulk, coming at you, rawr, Hulk, yeah. rawr, and he just he's like, <laughs> <laughs> Hulk, he's like, Hulk <laughs> splash. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's actually hey, that's not bad actually. That's a good one. Uh. What was your name before? I, I don't even know. Dog, to be honest with you. Incredible, incredible churro. <laughs> the churro. <laughs> the churro. That's fucking funny. Uh, I, I don't know. I, uh, so f- flight. I I I'd either want a flight or teleportation. Teleportation is dope. Yeah. Save on gas right now with fucking prices and oh, shit. Oh, dude. So people are starting teleporting. <laughs> <laughs> like this. <laughs> yeah. Now imagine people start teleporting and people drunk teleporting. Uh, fucking and then other people's fucking houses. Show up, show up, and some shit. Some other person, some, some wives, like some chicks. Up, hey, what's what? What? What's up? Here? Oh, you're not my. Oh, please. <laughs> that should be funny. I run into some weird ass situations. I don't want super strength. Uh, not class one hundred though. Why is that? Because they fucking die? Yeah, die from chorro? Because, dude, uh, like, think about, okay, like Superman, okay? He can't fuck Lois Lane, dude. He can't. Like, he can't enjoy it. Like like they said in the Dogma, you know, they, they, a fucking bullet. It, jizz would shoot through her like a 45 <laughs> slug. Yeah, this is true. You he, know, he, you can't control your jizz speed, like. Like, <laughs> he has to go like 10% and shit right, or not even hold on. Using, <laughs> hold on. using his Kryptonian <laughs> he closes his penis <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's why you like Batman Superman, huh? can, Superman can close his dick hole <laughs> or, <laughs> imagine the flash <laughs> yeah, fuck it, not, even a, not even a one no, minute man a no pump <laughs> they said he was, a, yeah, they said he was a, six, a six second guy already not and even he's already that fast so it's more like a, the Hulk would have it an act of Seth's life. Yeah. Hulk smash. <laughs> <laughs> Consistently. <laughs> Just got to feel bad for the, whoever's on the other side of that Hulk smash. smash. <laughs> like, who, okay. Who do you think is the bi- uh, the bigger playboy? Who do you think bones more chicks? Between Batman and Iron, Iron Man? Man? Batman. Nah. Definitely. Definitely. So. He, he, oh, fuck yeah. he yeah. fucks all the fucking superhero girls and shit. He boned Wonder Woman. He boned Wonder Woman, fucking the, what is the, it? The, the magician. Talia. Catwoman. <laughs> Catwoman. Fucking Harley Quinn. Uh, fucking, uh, dude. Uh, Poison Bat- Ivy. Wo- Batwoman. Dude. <laughs> and one of the latest issues, he fucked dude, Batwoman. It's Bruce fucking Wayne, dude. You're the fuck. fucking head of Wayne Industries, dude. 
The, I was going to say James Bond, dog. James Bond dude, fucks like four, Bruce four Wayne, women. Because Bruce, Bruce Wayne's Wayne. a bad motherfucker, dude. Bruce Wayne is, uh, yeah, he's dope. He like, plays dude. it off nonchalant, but he's fucking. So he's quiet, though. He won't be. Iron Man will be. He's, <laughs> he's, he's, he's going to fucking talk about Iron who Man, he Yeah, fucks. Iron Man's going to just show off. And, yeah, this know. is my latest he's, comp- he's compensating. Yeah, but Bruce Wayne. Uh, when, put it this way. When Bruce Wayne shows up, every comic chick's are oh. Like. <laughs> Because he, he, and, and it's either him or Superman. Yeah. That, that all the comic, he, even Amanda Waller, she, she can't stand fucking Bruce Wayne. But like, and, she, and she couldn't fuck him, so she cloned him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and, and that Damien. <laughs> Damien. Damien. I, lo- I like you. Damien. Oh, he's dope. Yeah, he's dope. Damien is Batman's son. Yeah. Uh, for people. Who Have you seen know. that special? The I mean, that movie, Son of Batman. Yes. Yeah, that one's pretty dope. That's one of the. Cartoon ones, right? Yeah, the yeah. cartoon oh, ones, yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah it, it's the, dope. Yeah, it's Son of Batman. Uh, Death in the Under Family. The, Red Hood, uh, the best, I, I, in my opinion, the best DC uh, animation was uh, Apocalypse War. Oh, yeah. I like that it's one, too. Like it's on HBO Max. You, should, you gotta check it out. Yeah, check oh, it you, out, never, you haven't seen Apocalypse War? Nah. That one's it's dope. basically the fall of, uh, it's the 52, the fall of the 52 universe. Mm. Which is a DC main universe. Okay. So it's it, it's good. Yeah. It's, it's, I'm more Marvel, that's why. I think the only DC guy I like is Batman. Well, he's all over that motherfucker. But even even that, I think Apocalypse Wars is going to be the equivalent to like Secret Wars, I guess. The newer Apoc- Secret Wars. Well, the, the Apocalypse Wars, uh, it's more uh, like a... Um, <clears throat> I think it's its own thing. You know what I mean? It basically, it's, the story is that uh, uh, Apoc- uh, Dark Side attacks her, decides mm-hmm. to attack her, but Superman tells the Justice League, "We're gonna go in. We're gonna and we're gonna take him out. We're gonna attack. This is the only way. This is the, no. There's no other yeah. way." They didn't know that that. Dark side was watching through Cyborg because mm. of the motherboard thing that yes. they have. Yeah. Yes. So I he knew he, he knew about the attack. So when they attack, he creates uh, he creates the uh, what, what's the uh, his uh, oh parademons. He clones parademons and Doomsday. Mm. So it's the Doomsday parademons that attack the league. So they're already overpowered. Yeah, they're already. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's what fucks up Superman. Dude, Doomsday yeah. and his only killed him. Yeah, I, I've seen. I've seen the last one. I seen was pretty dope. Is when uh, this the alternate the, Flashpoint. The, I think yeah, it was Flashpoint. Flashpoint. Uh, fa- Flashpoint. Flashpoint makes me cry. Yeah. Does it really? Yeah. When he goes back and saves his his mother. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's the last one I seen, and that one was, was pretty dope because obviously the the, the, the smartest and the best. Hero was Batman, and yeah. I, actually no, because it was a uh, Batman. Th- Bruce Wayne died in that one, and it was the father that took up Thomas the mantle, Wayne. Thomas oh. Wayne. But but he knew how and, to kill and everybody. The mother, yeah. And the mother became the Joker. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, mm. that's a crazy ass twist. That's a pretty. Yeah, that was, that was the last one I saw. And the ending when Batman when he gets the note. Yeah. And yeah. The Flash gives him the note from his father, and he, and you see Batman cry. Yeah. That's the only the first time you ever you ever see him yeah, vulnerable. Yeah. yeah. That's why, and like him, and I like that they examine the, the uh, his and the Flash's relationship. What do you yeah. think of the new Flash coming out, or what do you think of the current Flash? Uh, I like him. The, I, I don't know why he wasn't in Justice League. Ezra Miller. Yeah. I thought he was. I don't he, like he. Well, or, in the Snyder Cut, right? Or like I, briefly. I like the TV Flash. I don't like uh, the movie Flash. Uh, yeah. Oh, I, the TV. I, yeah, yeah, he's, he's, he's like quirky. That's not Barry Allen. Barry Allen is not that quirky. He's not. He, he's, no. He's like a comedic relief, but not that quirky. Like you say, he's they, they put, he's funny. Yeah. But he's not just. Do you think they try to counter counter him with the X Men one with Quicksilver? Yeah. You know, he he kind of plays the comedic role, and they're both fast. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. And so, makes sense. Yeah. Because the for, Avengers for, Quicksilver was not funny. He was. Yeah, more, he was. So 
I, I, yeah, I, 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 like, I like the uh, X Men Quicksilver. Yeah. Yeah, the X Men Quicksilver is funny. <laughs> yeah, I like. And I like the it. Boner? What was his name? Matt, Matt Boner or something like that on on One Division? Oh. When they brought, <laughs> when they brought him in and shit. <laughs> the Shield, the Shield shows, the Mag- One Division, and and they, and, they, and they don't they ever say that Magneto is their dad. They haven't said that yet. I don't know how they're uh, gonna. In the X Men, they referenced it. Mm. Remember, he said, "Yeah, I have yeah. a." I have a well, he I says, don't know my dad. Somebody, wait, yeah. you like they mentioned an incident mm-hmm. in the seventies or sixties or yeah. some shit. His mother, my yeah. mother, my dad was made or some some shit. Yeah, like some that. bullshit. She mentioned something about metal, and yeah. then they looked at it, but they never really said it was their their son. But I, I, the X Men movies, not a fan. Not, the later ones, I became a fan of. Like the best one to me is uh, First Class. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. Yeah, by far. Basically. McAvoy and um, so you're talking about the the new the the younger uh, Magneto. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fassbender yeah. and and McAvoy. I think it's because good. they were more serious. They were more. Well, they examined more the the their relationship that uh, one was Martin and one was Malcolm. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and, and uh, it's yeah, and you know, and 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 and, and, and it's that the fact that they respect each other. You Even though they had different but similar views, Point of different views, views yeah. the same, you know, same outcome, same, yeah. same goal, same goal, different, different, different ways, ways of accomplishing ways. it. Yeah. That's actually one of the biggest dynamics in the comic books. Actually, Magneto, Professor X, that whole, that's what makes it so deep. I think their mm-hmm. relationship, being close, friendship, and then kind of splitting apart, and then even Magneto taking over for Professor X mm-hmm. as the leader of the X Men. Yeah, I'm gonna have so. um, Chris Claremont on my uh, podcast. Chris Claremont, uh, the comic book writer, who is pretty much responsible for the X Men <laughs> that you see on the screen. Uh, wow! And uh, basically, he's he's cool. He's a cool dude. So it's uh, it's awesome. It's uh, it's it's just uh, weird that I know him, and I have his phone number. You know, from being a kid, reading. X Men 181 when they got back from Secret Wars and the uh, Lockheed's girlfriend, Lockheed the Dragon's the dragon. girlfriend became a giant, and they landed in Tokyo for some reason. <laughs> all that shit, and you're like tripping out. The he wrote the uh, Phoenix Saga. He wrote well, that's crazy. You know that's all all the he created the Mutant Massacre. All all the key points he that was... are uh, that are popular in the X Men. And that's crazy. That's so, dope. That's fucking dope. That got him the. Uh, he used to write uh, the Iron Fist series years ago with John Byrne. John Byrne mm-hmm. was the artist that he worked on the X Men with. So I had him sign like his run. So I was like, oh, cool. <laughs> so those are the comic books you have at home? Mm-hmm. I, I, those I are the like, most, some, of the, some of your collection? Yeah. it's my, how, how big would you say? Uh, I'm talking to Courtney, my assistant. Yeah, yeah, I have an assistant. <laughs> it's kind of cool. You no, know, it's very cool. Hey, so, hey, so, you want to take over and be my assistant? She's white. I made it. <laughs> he wants you to be his assistant. Hey, but you, you got that for for reasons when you're driving, right? You get pulled over, you just. Mm, it's, a white, white chick. <laughs> it's a talk. Just... That doesn't get you in trouble, bro. <laughs> Was it black dude, white chick, sir? Now it's normal. No, um, so yeah. Because yeah, yeah, now you see it in commercials. <laughs> you know what I mean? There was a far long dude. You never saw interracial couples in commercials. <laughs> That's you know? true. And then, yeah, there's all. Plus, plus, you probably tell them you don't tell them you come from Ball Park. Mm-hmm. You're like, where are you coming from, sir? You're like San the Dimas? synagogue. I'm, sorry. <laughs> the synagogue. I'm, coming, I'm coming from Upland. Oh, okay, cool. You're, you're, you're yeah, good. I live in Upland. Above Foothill. <laughs> above Foothill. <laughs> yeah, I, I, live, I live close to the mountains. Mm. Yes, we have a goat. 